Hope Black Archer 7. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick video and showing you guys how to find out what is connected to your Wi Fi network. Now, there are some reasons why you want to know what is connected to your Wi Fi network, and it's mostly you want to know if there's any unwanted people on your network. So, this is a way to check out, make sure no, your network hasn't been compromised. And if it has, then you can go ahead and change the password to your router or something to get everyone offline and make sure everyone has to reconnect with the new password. But to show you guys how to do this, I'm going to show you guys two different methods in this video. One being a super easy way to use your actual router to find out what's connected to it, but you will have to know your router's admin password. The other one being a simple application you can download to see what's currently online. And the nice thing about this application is you don't have to be admin whatsoever. So we'll get started with the router version. So what you want to do is open up Chrome or any browser really, and make sure you're currently connected to the router you want to work on. So what you want to do now is connect to the router's settings. Now to do this, most of the time you can type in 192.168.11 in your browser and press enter. And it should bring you to your Linksys or whatever router you can, brand you have um, homepage. Now I've been in mine recently, so it doesn't ask me to log in, but you will probably have to log in. And this is where you'll need to know the admin password to your router. If you don't know it, look at your instruction manual with your router and it may have it unless someone's changed it. If you can get into the router settings, you're all good to go. So you're going to look for an area called device list or view to connected devices. I want to click on that. And then pretty much it's that simple. It's going to show you everything that's connected. And for me, what's past been connected to this network. So if I scroll down, you guys can see all the things that have been connected to my uh, router. And a lot of it actually, I don't actually personally own. Um, some of these devices were um, people who drop them off and I'll fix, fix the issue, whatever, and get back to them. So I do connect to my Wi-Fi network for that. So a lot of these computers I don't actually own, but some of them I do, and especially ones that are currently online. So the ones that are highlighted are the ones that are online. So for example, we have the router, my Android phone, my sister's computer, and my sister's iPhone. So you even notice if you click on like, for example, my sister's iPhone, it's gonna say the manufacturer is Apple, the model is iPhone, and even says the, the OS, which is obviously iOS. If we hover to my, my computer, for example, same thing, name of it, the corporation, the model, and the OS as well. Along with that, like I said, you can see the past um, devices connected. And of course, you press X, it will remove it from the list. So that's a simple way of finding out what devices are connected to your network. Now, unfortunately, some people can't get access to the router. And if you can't, don't worry, there's still a simple way of um, still scanning your network for online devices. You can head over to the Wireless Network Watcher um, page from Nearsoft. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. You can go ahead and scroll to the bottom, and we'll have an area right here called Download. So you can choose the portable version or the install version, completely up to you. They both work the same. After you download it, open up the zip file, and simply go ahead and run the exe file. It will go ahead through and scan your system. Now it may not find a lot of things. If it does not, what you want to do is tweak a setting. And I'll show you that setting in a second. Now because I've tweaked the setting already, it's going to scan and show everything online that's active. But if it doesn't really show anything, what you want to do is head over to options and go to advanced options. And then hit choose the following network adapter. And you want to choose the one that's actually yours. So for me, I have wireless USB adapters. So I click that one. By default, it was set to this host virtual adapter, and I didn't get any um, results. So what you want to do is make sure you choose um, the one that you're currently using, and a way to check that out is the IP address. If it's 000, then that's not it. But if it is a legitimate IP address and it's yours, you're good to go. So just like our Wi-Fi router, we see the connected devices. So all the same devices that we saw earlier, we do see now. Only difference is this device cannot, this application cannot see past connections. It gives us pretty much the same information. Uh, if we click on my sister's iPhone, we see the same things pretty much. 
uh, it does not tell us the OS, but we can do user text. We can actually change this. So for example, if I want to change my sister's iPhone to loser, and then hit okay again, it will change up as loser next time you open it up. Now how this application works is by connection basis. So as you can see, some are still popping up. And that means pretty much the device requested something from the router. So the program sees that. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, a short video, um, just showing you guys how you can check out what's connected to your Wi-Fi network. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about um, networks, anything like that, you can uh, leave a comment in the description below. If you're looking for a little more advanced uh, network video, I have my last video, which was how to forward ports on a Wi-Fi router. So you can check that out in the description below. And besides that, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 007, and I'm signing off.